Update 14 is right around the corner and Big Games has finally gave us a look into what we can expect to see in the summer update on Saturday. And on top of this major leak, the market is in absolute shambles with prices crashing across the board. So clearly there's a lot we should be talking about and in this video we're going to talk about what you can be buying ahead of this summer update on Saturday as well as what's going on in the market and what we can expect going forward. Should you be selling everything and collecting as many diamonds as you can? Or is now the time that we should really be buying up all the cheap stuff that we're seeing on the market? Well, that's exactly what we're discussing in today's video, so let's get right into it. All right, you guys, so Big Games went ahead and tweeted this picture with the caption, Pet Sim Summer 2024. And then below that, they also said Saturday, 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 which confirms it's what we are going to be receiving in this update on Saturday. Now, in this picture, we can see some of those buildings from World 1 with one of those doors open and a sign next to the door saying that this is going to be the Obby World. The whole building itself is also like a sandcastle, so obviously we're going for a big summer theme. So we could pretty much expect all of the content that we're going to be receiving to be in this summer kind of theme now i'm sure if you guys are going ahead and watching my videos you already know what obbies are but if you don't know already we have quite a few obbies already in the game notably in the tech world where i'm at right now we actually have the hoverboard obby and then we also have the hacker obby now clearly these types of mini games are pretty much forgotten about and nobody really does them in pet simulator 99 at the moment there's also like five different obbies in the world one as well, which are actually probably the better ones compared to the ones that are here in the tech world. But currently with the information that we have given, we can expect to see some new obbies in this update within this new summer world that they have going on. So let's actually head into world one so I can show you an example of some of the rewards that you can get from doing the obbies. So right off the bat, we have the classic obby. Now this obby, you can actually get the huge colorful wisp. And as you can see, there are like 8,000 of these. So it turns out quite a few people have gotten some pretty good rewards from doing these obbies. And compared to before, Big Games has been implementing a ton of free to play huges into the game. So I think in this new obby world with each of the games that we get, we can expect that maybe we'll get at least one free to play huge in the possible loot pools as you can see i got a few rewards nothing crazy nothing worth pretty much anything at all to be fair but if there was really something in here that i wanted really bad there is actually a mechanic or an item that we can use to actually improve our odds at getting loot and what that item is is actually this nightmare fuel and if we read the description it says consuming this improves your drops from mini games by a hundred percent so essentially if i drink this nightmare fuel and then i go ahead and do the classic obby i can expect to get better loot drops now i think you guys can see where i'm going with this as we are expecting to get some new obbies slash mini games in this update on saturday potentially investing in some of this nightmare fuel might be a really good idea especially if the loot pools from these new mini games are actually stuff that people actually want to get and the beautiful thing about this nightmare fuel is that when I use it, you can see it only lasts you for 10 minutes. So you could pretty much only use one per obby that you do. So people that are going to be using these for this update are going to need a whole bunch of them. And that's why I think investing in some of this nightmare fuel is actually a very good idea. Now, since we're going to be talking about the market a little more, let's head actually into the trade plaza. Now, if we pull up the training terminal, you can see that the nightmare fuel is currently at a wrap value of 450k. Now, the reason why this is pretty low is because nobody in the game pretty much does any of the mini games or obbies, so there's not really much of demand for this at all. But since we got this leak from big games about an obby world coming in and we could potentially be seeing some new free to play huges or just some good rewards coming from those mini games, then we can expect people are going to want to use these nightmare fuels to try to get a better chance at getting those. While those are the reasons that I think this nightmare fuel might be a very good investment investment we can also take this even a step further so since these nightmare fuels are going to be extremely useful for a lot of people if you didn't know already these nightmare fuels actually come from using the nightmare ultimate so on top of investing in these nightmare fuels we can actually go ahead and invest in some of these nightmare ultimates 
in expectation that more people will be using it in order to get that chance at the nightmare fuel drop on top of that if we do expect the nightmare fuel to go up in wrap value then obviously using the nightmare ultimate is going to be more valuable for people so essentially that alone should bring up the price in theory and that's why i think both of these are an extremely good investment right now and at the current moment these are the only leaks that we've gotten about the update on saturday and even though this tweet has been out for almost a day now the price actually hasn't moved that much so i don't think many people have thought about this at all a member in my community by the name of O3 actually brought this up to me, so I didn't even think about it when I saw the leak at all. But the combination of getting a whole world full of obbies that could potentially give us some good rewards should most definitely at least bring up the demand of this a bit. I think worst case scenario, the obbies in this new world just turn out to be trash and nobody really ends up needing these. But obviously there's always going to be a risk with investing. This is just the only information that we currently have and the only thing that we can really make an investment decision based off of. And if you've made it this far in the video, if you could go ahead and hit the subscribe button for me, that would help me out a ton because I'm trying to become a big games partner. So pretty much every subscriber that I can get right now will help me out a ton when being considered for this partner position. I promise you guys, if I get partner, I'm going to be giving away a ton more stuff so it really benefits you guys as well but anyways besides that the market has been in a huge downturn for quite a few reasons now the first of those reasons being that the current clan war that we've been having going on is ending in just 23 hours so because everybody's been grinding super hard for this clan leaderboard the amount of diamonds being added to the economy has been going up quite a bit and i guess just the idea that not everybody is going to be grinding as hard because the clan battle is over is just overall why the prices have began going down on top of that the update is coming out saturday so usually a day or two before updates we typically get a little bit of a sell-off period where prices tend to go down anyways so all of this combining is probably why prices have been crashing so hard and if we look at this price chart for the huge happy computer we could see that the price of this thing rose like 15 million in pretty much a week's time span because we saw all of these prices increase so dramatically so fast it's probably just expected that we do see a correction at some point anyways so it's pretty much just the combination of all of these factors combining that people are just panic selling after prices have increased so much if we look at one of the cheapest huges right now we could see that the wizard westy is currently at 68 million which means that this thing has pretty much fallen like four to five million in the matter of just a day which is a pretty insane drop we can also see that the huge giraffe is also selling for a mere 66.8 million so this is actually probably one of the cheapest huges that we currently have in the game now i'm sure this is just because this is an active huge as well so as people are opening up the huge they're probably just going ahead and trying to sell it as quickly as they can especially since huge prices are going down so fast right now on top of those huges all of the really niche and chance that people have been buying in order to do better at this update have been selling off so the prices of those things have been crashing quite a bit this nightmare orb alone is pretty much just 50 percent of the price that it was selling at just a couple days ago as well as the corruption is going down quite a bit in price this mini chest fortune is 115 million right now this is currently wrong because this enchant was inflated quite a bit in the last wrap update i think it went all the way to like 700 million for some reason so somebody's clearly trying to manipulate the price and it clearly has not corrected itself quite yet all right so in terms of whether or not i think that this deflation will continue happening it's honestly really hard to say i think we could pretty much only be able to tell this once the update actually comes out as you guys can see i am still holding quite a few diamonds so i think holding your diamonds is a very good bet right now and just watch what happens in the market i really don't think that just because the clan battle is over that people still won't be farming millions and millions of diamonds so i think this deflation could definitely be temporary and we could see prices bounce back pretty quickly but honestly that's just a gut feeling and we really have nothing to go over nobody can tell you what exactly is going to happen in the market the only thing that i can really tell you guys is that if people are selling off their huges 
and high value items, they have to be spending those diamonds on something. So it's very likely that if we don't see anything to really spend our diamonds on in this next update, then I don't see why prices wouldn't just bounce right back up to where they were before. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this brand new obby world that we're getting on Saturday and what you guys think is going to happen in the market. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one and peace out.